hello hi how are you i hope you guys are having an amazing day today so today we're in a different location this is my wardrobe <laughs> so this is one of a couple places that i store my clothes basically when we moved into this house closets because the house was made in like the 1910s the closets were very small and they're also very weirdly shaped so the closet that's over here that holds i kind of switch things out to be seasonal closet over here that's currently holding more summer clothes goes it's like an open door and then it goes in kind of deep like this like this way where it's hard to access the clothes so i don't like using it it's kind of hard to see things and grab things so i typically what i've been doing was when i first moved in i used this thing which i bought at ikea uh to put summer clothes in and now i've switched it out for my winter clothes however <laughs> this is filling up and that's not okay because the other closet's filling up which is not okay um i need to <laughs> severely declutter some clothing um one thing i do want to say before we start this whole process of decluttering is is all of these clothes i'm going to donate them to a women's shelter and donating to women's shelters typically the clothing is more likely to get use than if you just donate it to a place like the salvation army or something um so i am going to try to sell what hasn't really been used and donate stuff that maybe is a little bit more used so um yeah this is my baby <laughs> this this storage unit initially i had bought two uh without realizing that the second one would have been blocking a vent so now there's just one i designed this myself it has four drawers underneath the, this initial hanging part that we're not even touching today because it's like leggings and pants and i have to like try those on and i just don't want to do that today uh, we're gonna be getting rid of everything i try to keep everything color coordinated just because if i'm going to grab like a specific item i like knowing about where it would be and these are all kind of like my long sleeve it goes deep <laughs> bet you didn't know there was a yellow category um it goes kind of by like long sleeves and my more like sweatery um and this is not where i keep my hoodies my hoodies are in a separate location <laughs> because they take up a lot of space so let's just get started first piece is this denim jacket um it's just kind of a basic jacket i've worn it a few times i really like this piece and i think i'm gonna keep it it fits really nice i think jackets can be kind of hard when you're plus size because i find that they don't always fit my shoulders like for some reason the shoulder proportion on jackets can be really weird even if it is your size it like doesn't fit right this one fits great and it's stretchy which i enjoy i want to buy one that is a little bit more like ripped and a little bit more like shredded because <laughs> this one doesn't have any rips on it it's just kind of like a plain denim jacket but i do think this is cute and i have a couple dresses that i pair this with in like the spring summer that actually end up looking really cute however i don't really wear this in the winter so maybe i'll put this just to save space here put this in the other closet so that way i can kind of save this for that because I, I only really wear this with dresses i don't really wear it with like i wouldn't wear it with like a sweater you know this cardigan recently bought this at macy's it's kind of just a long cardigan with stripes on it i'm definitely going to keep this in my opinion you can never have too many cardigans i think they can definitely be added to any look to make it just look a little bit cuter and more like pulled together so i'm gonna keep that so i haven't worn this yet actually i just kind of bought this recently this is a blazer um it is a calvin klein blazer i bought it it was like these cool gold things on it i bought this at macy's um because i tried it on and i just i one of my teachers told me once they were like every girl should have like a boss blazer like buy a blazer you can wear it to job interviews things like that um i don't think i think this should probably go with my dresses because again similar to the denim jacket this is something i'm only gonna wear occasionally this is this is i want this place to be everyday winter clothes um this is not an everyday piece this is kind of something i'm only gonna wear on like hyper specific occasions so while i think it's something that's good to have i don't need this in my everyday this is just a plain black t-shirt i keep basics i always am gonna keep basics i think they're really good that's something i can put with anything just long black cardigan from forever 21 it's literally just a black cardigan however i believe this is the one that is broken yeah so this pocket is actually broken um so i'm going to just get rid of this and donate it because i'm sure someone would sew that and then it would be really good but I th i'm pretty sure i have other i just had i just showed you this one with the stripes so i don't really need this one and since it is broken not serving much of a purpose to me because i don't like wearing it because it's broken so this is also new um this is from forever 21 their plus size section is like my favorite thing ever it still 
as the tags on it because I haven't really had an occasion to wear it to. Um, I like wearing longer sleeve stuff when I go out to like bars in the winter because it's cold, but I still like to look cute. So <laughs> I bought this. It's kind of a mesh see-through like rose printed bodysuit and I think this is gonna look dope when, um, when I go out. I think paired with like a black bralette or even a black cami if you want to be more modest. I tend to like just go all out so I'll probably wear this with like a black bralette um, and some like high-waisted jeans. This would be a super cute look. This is just another plain black shirt. This one is not as, it doesn't fit me as well as the other tighter blacker shirt. This is a little bit of a more baggy loose shirt. So I don't think I really need this one. I'm not gonna wear it too often. I can just foresee that I like won't really wear this. This is a black sweater that I bought a few years ago. It's actually inside out right now, but it's just a black sweater. I think I need this. I don't really wear, I wore this like four times and it was always like for family functions. No, I don't really need this. Obviously gonna keep my reputation from when I went to the rep tour. Um, obviously gonna keep this, but I'll probably put this in with my hoodies because that's more the vibe I would go for if I was gonna wear this. Same thing with this Mario Kart shirt. I get so many compliments every time I wear this in videos. You guys think it's so fun. And I actually love this because it's so comfy, but it's not like hoodie material, so it's not too hot. But again, it should probably go with my hoodies my like graphic long sleeves as that's realistically when I'm gonna wear them. Oh, we're moving into gray. Okay, this I love. This, I think I it's from hers to Jenna. I don't know what that is, but it's just a gray long sleeve with these kind of darker gray things like details on the sleeve. I love this. Um, I wear this a ton to my internship because it's very cozy, but it's also a professional look. You could definitely wear this. I wear this with like black pants and a necklace or something. I don't know. This I'm just going to get rid of. I don't, I got it at Old Navy. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's totally fine. I just don't like how I look in bulkier wool sweaters like this. I just don't think I look good. So I don't really wear it because I don't like how I feel in it, you know? Okay, this is probably like my nicest thing I own. This is from Vera Wang. Um, I stole this from my sister <laughs> forever ago. She left it when she went to college and I took it. Softest material, super, super nice gray sweater. I wear, I get a lot, a lot of use out of that. Sort of a gray cardigan. Um, I'm going to keep that because again with cardigans, I have another one right here too that's a little bit longer and a little bit more like wool but I'm gonna keep both because I do really use cardigans like a ton. This shirt, I actually wore in a video recently. It's my um, music festival story time video. So I like this shirt. I didn't know it was cropped when I bought it because I bought it online and it does have a slight crop to it. Um, for me, that just means I don't mind crops. I love crops, <laughs> but for me, I just wanna like, a lot of you guys ask being plus size how I style crops. Um, I, first of all, I just don't care. <laughs> so I'll just wear this with like leggings whenever. But if I wanna like make this extra cute or I wanna like cover up parts of my body that I don't love, I would usually pair this with like a red flannel tied around my waist with something like this, I think that would be really, really cute. I'm a fan of crops, but I do wish this one wasn't cropped because I bought it to wear to like work. And on the model, it didn't look cropped at all. So this is just a peplum red shirt. This is a little bit loose on me. I don't know. It's a little loose. Like it doesn't, it, peplums, I feel like if they hug your curves right, they look really good. But I don't know how this one, yeah, this one, I'm gonna get rid of this one because it doesn't, it doesn't fit me right. And it always, whenever I wear it, I feel like it's just too baggy and I look kind of weird. I'm also gonna get rid of this shirt. It just says all good. I just bought it to wear with joggers. This isn't something I'd wear. I bought it like two years ago. Not something I'm gonna really wear. This sweater I love. So cute. Red is like one of my favorite colors. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this jacket. I bought it from Forever 21. This is another one. I thought it would be really cute and it just doesn't fit right in my shoulders. This is probably one I'll sell because I don't even think I ever wore this like out, uh, but it just doesn't fit right in my shoulders. It's too tight on my shoulders. So there is no sense in keeping it. My weight kind of like fluctuates a lot. So sometimes I'm like a little bit heavier and sometimes I'm a little bit lighter. So I keep things sometimes because I'm like, oh, I'm, when I'm lighter, I'll wear it. But that's stupid. <laughs> I freaking love this sweater. I've had this for so long. It's just a short sleeve cardigan. I wear this so much. I get so much use out of that. This sweater I also like, but I hate how it looks on camera because number one, it kind of looks like Freddy Krueger, first of all. Second of all, I don't like how the stripes look on camera, especially when I'm wearing it. They just look almost like an optical illusion and I found, I filmed a video in it and it was just distracting. This is, oh my God, what is, uh, what? I didn't know this was in here, but this is Glomus merch. Um, I'm gonna put that with my hoodies too. I'll get more use out of it there. Two red flannels, I'm keeping both. As I said, I tie flannels around my waist a lot when I wear crops and red flannels are typically like, really good for that. We have this green turtleneck that I really, really like. And then we also have this green bodysuit that is just a short sleeve. I bought recently a 
like yellow puffer jacket that it's kind of weird but I have a vision of wearing that puffer jacket with this outfit with some high-waisted jeans and like boots and I think that would look really cute so I'm gonna keep this I'm also gonna keep this I love shirts that are this material it's like kind of yellow and I'm also gonna keep this yellow sweater because this is like my go-to winter sweater this is the kind of, you know how the gray one I decluttered it was too thick this is the perfect amount of thickness in a sweater for me I'm gonna get rid of this green sweater I just don't wear it it's cute there's nothing wrong with it but I don't really wear it I would I really only wear sweaters in professional settings because this is kind of see-through and it's kind of like off the shoulder it's not as professional so I just won't really wear it so this is just again another blue sweater it's kind of similar to the yellow one in texture so I'll keep this because this is something again really good for work I am gonna keep this blue flannel but I'm gonna skip ahead get rid of this blue flannel because I just never wear that okay so I'm gonna get rid of this denim shirt there's nothing wrong with it it just doesn't fit right in the shoulders um that's typically where I have the most things that like don't fit right so I'm gonna get rid of that I am going to let's talk about these two um I'm gonna get rid of this my mom gave this to me. It was hers at one point. She used to wear it to work. I just, not really my style and I don't really wear it too often. I am however gonna keep this. I like the color block kind of situation going on and I think it's a cute shirt. Fits really, really well. I am going to put this in my hoodie thing. This is my, um, my boyfriend's brother coaches a wrestling team and that's the team. Yes, I have two shirts that are very, very similar. One I got from the brand I did a sponsorship with. First I have this top, which I wear to all interviews. Any interview, this is the shirt I'm probably wearing. I just think it's a really nice professional looking shirt and I really like it. This one, however, I didn't like in the video for the sponsorship. I just didn't really like it because it has this weird tie. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a Drake, I'm gonna keep that. I love long sleeve stuff. It's really cute. This is a stay purple with like a stripe. This is Adidas. I really like this. I got it on Black Friday. I love this color purple. It's been like my new favorite color. I'm going to put this with my hoodies too, just because it takes up so much space. But I bought this on Black Friday at Old Navy. Super, super cute and comfy. I don't like this shirt. It just, it's a weird level of see-throughness. The sleeves are weird. It has like a tie back, so it's not very professional. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. It fits weird. Like, this was just a no-go. Torn, because I hate the sleeves. It has these like really blown out sleeves, but I love the way it looks on. I'm gonna keep it for now, we'll see. No, you know what, I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't love it and you shouldn't keep things you don't like love. This I love, that's why I put that back because this is a turtleneck, like a mock turtleneck that I love. <laughs> I love how this looks on me. It's so comfy, this is like such a good shirt. I'm gonna get rid of this pink sweater from Old Navy. It's fine, but I, I don't love it and I don't wear it that often. I'm definitely getting rid of this too. This is from Forever 21. It's fine, again, it's a cute color, but it has these weird sleeves. It just like fits kind of weird in my boobs. <laughs> You know what I mean? It just like doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna also get rid of this because it's like a worse version of this. There was a time when this was like one of my favorite pink sweaters. Time has passed. Um, I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna put it in with my summer stuff because that's realistically when I'll wear it. I got this from that fashion video too, and I really like it. Super stylish. This I really like. I got it from Sheen of all places. I don't really like Sheen, but I was like trying them out because I was gonna do a video and then I never did. Um, but I do like this. This I don't love. It's a little too tight around my stomach and it also is very booby which again if I was gonna wear something that was this material it would be to work so <laughs> I'm not gonna wear this to like work or anything I'm gonna get rid of it I don't mind like a boob moment but like it has to be like the right material for it you know what I mean I actually love this <laughs> I know it's like kind of ugly. It's just like cheetah print um, and it's just like a t-shirt but unbuttoned with a cami with some leggings This is actually like a mood. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna get rid of this I've had it for a really long time and I haven't really worn it in a long time It is really cute. I like it. I just don't really ever reach for it It's a little too hot and like heavy as a cardigan. This however, I love this is just another It's kind of like the red cardigan. That's like a short sleeve. It's kind of like that but in black and white Um, I like this little white sweater kind of reminds me of the green sweater i just decluttered but for some reason i'm not as bothered by it in white so i'm gonna keep it and i just bought a bunch of bralettes and i feel like this with a bralette that you could like see through would be a cute like casual look um oh i love this shirt but this is gonna go in my hoodies um this i don't love this is what is this Karen Scott's kind of good for professional stuff, but I have a lot of stuff I'm keeping for like professional purposes. I don't really need every single professional sweater ever. So 
so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's weirdly see-through and I don't like it. I don't like how see-through it is. This I struggle with because I definitely don't wear this a ton. It's kind of like a wool vest, but I got it when I was in London. Um, I went to the store. I think it's called Primark. I went to the store called Primark and I bought this. I just love it because it reminds me of London. I had like a dope outfit I wore this with in London. It's probably a one sentimental piece. I don't like to get rid of stuff I got when I was traveling because it's like, it's like a memory kind of. I don't know. This I love. This is new and oh my gosh. <laughs> I think this is the coolest, coziest sweater. I wear this so much just like around the house. It's such a cozy sweater. This is just kind of, oh, this has a stain on it. I'm going to get rid of this. And then finally, we have this little sweater, which is just a cute like v-neck with all these pretty pastel colors. And I really like that. I mean, I feel like this is pretty good progress. Let me show you guys. I feel like that's pretty good. I got rid of a really decent chunk of clothing. You can actually like see this whole section now and you can like move these around. So I think I could load some other like sweater like things in here and it would be really good. Okay, so that's it for me today. If you guys would like to see any other sort of like decluttering style videos of like clothes. I have a whole other closet I could go through and I also have the hoodie closet which needs to be decluttered. So if you want to see any more content like this, please let me know. I'd be really excited to do it. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, just so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media and everything. I will not wearing anything on my face. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, uh, so nothing will be linked down below, and along with that will be a link to register to vote. So right, you can click on that link, you can register to vote, and you can be part of your democracy. It's this really cool thing all the kids are doing. Um, and if you're not from the United States, that link does not apply to you. Please make sure you're staying informed on what's going on in your part of the world, in your country. Just stay informed on what's going on. Use your voice in a positive way. The world needs more of it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!